sincerely welcome, I distinguish pastors here from every look and kind of the church, irrespective of your church, from our host pastor, our host church. Please celebrate the church, that, the church of our mama, the church that mama attended till the last day she came up the road. Please celebrate them. You are all blessed in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes. Our daddy is there in the name of a senior pastor and Mrs. Tupe Mongo and other anointed men. I celebrate your grace, sir. I say you are welcome in Jesus' name. Please be ready. Please, if you think, open to item number four now. Him fading away like a star of the morning. Washing his blood 
This is my, this is my story. This is my song. Praise in thy Savior all day long. This is my story. I enjoy you as we sing and dance unto the Lord. Please give us the best sing just because of Mama. If you are happy to see that.
our beloved Dede finally answer her internal home call. Dede, your presence with us has imparted much to our daily life. As a family, we love you so much. But God, your maker, needed you most. Bobby, our daily beloved Dede, we shall see again to part no more. May your soul rest in a perfect peace. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hello, thank you. I thought the hand would be bigger than that for that particular section when they say, Mama Odede gave her life to Christ and renounced all her former way of life. It's just a short lesson to me, I don't know of you, when you renounce your old way and think of God, it's a very huge issue. Shout hallelujah. Please let's celebrate the grace of Mama Ken. Shout hallelujah. To come and take the first tribute from the booklet. Shout hallelujah. Please let's celebrate it as to the all to the microphone. In respect of our late Mama, Mama is a tribute to my wonderful tribute to my wonderful mother. The day there is a blow that is so hard to believe you have come from us. The day you were really a mother indeed to me. We were so simple, open-minded, caring, accommodating, and peacemaker. Today, I have never regretted knowing you as my mother since you have gave, you gave birth to us. Mama, your memory will always remain in heart for the children. Thank you and God bless. Ogunta to take us in the next tribute of Mama. Shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. My uh, tribute to my lovely mom. My lovely baby, we miss you so much. You the best mommy we have ever seen. You were always there for us and feed us with all your words of wisdom. May you rest in the bosom for the city. And I want to appreciate God because ever since our father, our mothers have left, they have been taken care of us. Can we shout hallelujah? For the next tribute for grandma, shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. I thought you are happy for your grandchildren is not easy. Shout hallelujah. Please, we are calling on Miss Ifoma Ebenezer to take us in the next tribute of Mama for the great grandchildren. Is Ifoma available? He's here. Oh, that's interesting. Thank you very much. Praise the Lord. A tribute to my amazing mother. A day of virtue, strength, and courageous. Lovely and soft added like dough. She's a mentor. And she's a mentor. One who beats her hope and trust in. Grandma. Oh, Grandma, we admire you so much. She's peaceful and friendly to everyone around her. Once since she was on the surface of the earth, your memories will always remain with us forever. We are gentle so many in perfect peace on behalf of our great grandchildren. Thank you. Please celebrate her on behalf of all the great grandchildren of Mama. Shout hallelujah. Please, if you look closely to your bulletin, we are already on item 10, which is the most important section what we have gathered. That is about the sermon, the word of God. It's my own privilege to welcome our dear beloved father, pastor, 
mentor, and responsible one in the church, as I call on Pastor Otome Eze to lead us in that section of what Shattered and Lea. We are going to take this worship song before we hear the message. Hallelujah. Jehovah is your name. Jehovah is your name. Jehovah is your name. In the name of Jesus, Amen. we want to hear your word. We ask that you, in the name of Jesus, Amen. we ask now that you well, we bring conversion and deliverance to everyone that is here in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. I have one portion of the scriptures to read that from Ecclesiastes chapter 8. I'm reading from verse 8. There is no man that has power over the spirit to return the spirit. Neither had he power on the day of death. There is no discharge in that war. Neither shall wickedness deliver from that are given to it. The Bible told us that when Adam went astray against the word of God and ate the forbidden fruit, the Bible said, he died. The death is not immediate death, it was spiritual death. And the Bible told us that from that day, Adam lived 950 years before he died physically. What does it mean? It means that man could have lived like God. And God lives forever. He has no ability of death. That because what happened? Adam disobeyed the voice of God. When he disobeyed it, death came into him. Yes. And the Bible said, death came upon all men because all have sinned against the Lord. So death is inevitable. Whether you are young, you are old, you are an age person, one day death must come to you. And if death comes to you, what is the next thing? Thank God, Mama is here lying down. He's not speaking to us anymore. No, relating to anybody is at death. That is what the Bible calls physical death. When you die physical death, there's another death. There are two three types of death. One, physical death. Two, spiritual death. And the third one is eternal death. Then if you die physically, according to the word of God, the next thing you have to face is spiritual death. The spiritual death is what Jesus came into the world to settle for me and you. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. Yeah. Jesus came to settle that. He came that you will not die spiritually. Why? The reason is because he don't want our souls to be lost for eternity. That is to tell you that if you, a person, you live in the world without giving your life to Jesus and you died in the physical, the Bible told us that your spirit, your spirit man is dead in the sight of God. And there's no power that can redeem it. There are two things we tell people in the church. That there is heaven, there is also hell. Some people don't believe it. 
There is heaven. There is also what? Hey. But if you give your life to Christ and you accept, the Bible says your spirit will be saved. Your spirit will be saved. And if you fail to give your life to Christ and you live on earth and die, your spirit is lost forever. Our prayer is that you will understand the word of God. Amen. No man has the power to retain the spirit. That's what the Bible says. God only has the power of the spirit. The spirit of God is eternal spirit. It's eternal spirit. And that spirit is what part of it is given to man. The Bible told us that if you fail to know that you are a spirit, one day when death comes to you, you understand what God is talking about. Eternal spirit does not die. God is a spirit. And he made man a spirit. God is a spirit, and he made man what? A spirit. He made him a spirit. So that he possessed the flesh to come into the world. And that flesh is what God is talking about. If you die today, where will you end your destiny? Where will you end your spirit? Where will your spirit end? If you give up today, where will your spirit end? The Bible told us that the place the righteous spirit we end is heaven. Everybody say heaven. I say heaven. When your spirit gives up and the righteous person on earth, the Bible said your spirit will end in heaven. And you will live with God forever. But spirit will end here. Everybody say hellfire. Hellfire. People do not want to mention it because they don't want to preach it. We preach hellfire. There is, there is hellfire. So when you give your life to Christ and you end without Christ, the Bible said you will end in hellfire. So that's what we are saying. So we thank God that Mama has spent her life and have, have given her life to Christ. She is saved. Everybody says she is saved. Are you saved? And you say one day you may find yourself in the coffin as Mama is lying down here. The Bible says it's appointed on two men once to die. After this, the what? The judgment. It's appointed on two men once to die. After this, the what? The judgment. God is calling and know whether you belong to God or not. No one has the power to return the spirit. Whether you are a native doctor, you are a medical doctor, you are an engineer, whatever class of profession you belong to, you don't have the power to retain the spirit. That's what the Bible says. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. Your spirit belongs to God. As long as you surrender your life to Him, your spirit will be saved. Jesus came to save that spirit. That is why He died on the cross. So by the grace of God, we are going to pray. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. Let us pray. For saving my life. You sent Jesus to die for me. Today, I surrender my life to Jesus Christ as my Lord and personal Savior. The Lord Jesus, come into my heart. I receive you as my personal Savior. Thank you for saving my spirit. Say, I am saved. I am saved. I am born again. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, and let's pray. Father, we thank you, Lord, for this short message. We give you glory and honor. We exalt you because we are world. Heaven and earth will pass away. The Bible said, we are world will not pass away. Thank you for blessing us in the name of Jesus. Ndi keje asuma no li mama o ndi ministers and the immediate children of mama and family because of the space area ebaho can any more to go to go and have her and as you sit down I pray the grace of God will come to me. Lord, we thank you for your grace. Lord, we commit this very top into your hands. We ask that it will remain sanctified. That no demon, no power, no wisdom.
witchcraft, no wizard, no sorcerer, no idol power will enter inside this very tomb to manipulate your daughter against any member of the family, against anyone. In the name of Jesus, Amen. we pray that it will remain sanctified till the day the Lord Jesus Christ will come. And this very body will come and take up the body. The soul will also take up the body to meet with you on the air. In the name of Jesus, I sanctify the tomb in the name of God the Father, Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. All right.
Good afternoon, ma. Yeah, good afternoon, How are you guys doing? We are fine. God bless you. Can you tell us what they are doing here? We are here to give our grandmother the last, the last respect. Okay. Okay. Can you tell us the name of this, your mommy? Your grandma? Okay, okay. All right, you went one. God bless her. Please, can you just tell us a brief story, the history of, your, of her life? Just tell us what you know about her. I am married to her family. So, since she married to their family, where were the masses? So, that's why you are here to lay out yes, the rest. Yes. All right. What prayer do you have to offer? Uh, my prayer so, for her and prayer for the family and for the children. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon.
Amen. Okay. First of all, go okay. and Alright, okay, thank you. I don't want your money in it. Give me a little money. Oh, you want to get children. I'm going to get So, oh, okay, no, okay. Thank <laughs> you. 
service but when it has come to pass and i'm committing their lives their home their children into the into your able hand in the name of jesus christ but i pray you uphold them by your right hand of righteousness you know we are in the world the world now as it is today the devil and his angels are working look at through all corners to see that if they will harm many of your children but because jesus Christ says we should rejoice for him overcome the world for us i pray lord that victory will be as be theirs in the name of jesus amen as they are buried their mother right from today they will live one and their mother in the name of jesus they will live a long life in the name of jesus amen. lord bless them with well, fruitfulness Bless them with prosperity. Bless them with abundant life in the name of Jesus. Any power that to rise, to cause confusion, to destroy the life, to take away the life, untimely, Lord, we condemn that power in the name of Jesus. We condemn that power in the name of Jesus. We condemn that power in the name of Jesus. Our spirit that you say, yeah, the mother has died, let her go and fight the children. Baba, as that man or woman, boy or girl, trying to fight, to raise up his ugly, ugly head, to touch this children of this man, we pray that their heart will be paralyzed in the name of Jesus. Baba, take control. Cover them with your glory. Let this year, as you have buried the mother, from now till the day you go to take your sex, may their life be fruitful in the name of Jesus. May your blessing follow them in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for hearing. Receive all the glory and honor. For Jesus' mighty name we pray.
Hello, what do you have to say? Ah, 
In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Thank you very much. 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 Thank Amen. Amen. Who was there for you in the midnight hour? It's the same God who is able to wipe your tears away. It's the same God who was there in time of lack and want. It's the same God. It's Jehovah, my great provider. Tell me why you're giving up on God. Tell me why you're giving up on him Tell me why you're giving up on God Hold on, change is on the way Ebesina, you could not stop